Some families are willingly going into debt to go to Disney theme parks. A new survey says parents with kids under 18 are most likely to spend the most money at the attractions. According to Mouse Hacking, this year the average cost of a Disney World vacation for a family of four was more than $5,700 or approximately $287 per person per night. All right, let's bring in Jackie Steele. She's a writer at magicguides.com. Jackie, thank you so much for being with us. Why would someone willingly go into debt to go to Disney World? You know, I think it's a matter of this is a, a, a rite of passage for a lot of people. Uh, you know, Disney World, we've been uh, led to believe from Super Bowl commercials to uh, just general pop culture, it's something that every child needs to do at one point. And prices have been getting higher over the past few years. And I think it's no surprise that when prices everywhere are getting a lot higher, then, you know, folks are going to probably have to go into debt to make that happen. All right, so Jackie, the chief credit analyst at Lending Tree said, quote, if you need to take on a few months of debt, to afford that once in a lifetime Disney trip, it can be okay, end quote. So is that good advice or bad advice? Or does it maybe just depend? Uh, yeah, I think it depends. I mean, it's just like any level of financial advice you're going to get for anything. For some people, the answer is we just want to buy a used car so we don't have a car payment. For some people, they want the new car, so they're going to either lease it or buy it. I think it's the same for Disney. I think what we've been seeing more than anything is that rather than um, going back year after year after year, some folks are maybe deciding that this is going to be a once-in-a-lifetime trip, or maybe it's once every couple of years. Rather than literally a year by year, we're going to wait until the kids are a little older. Maybe they can enjoy it a bit more. And if we have to, you know, put it on the card, then so be it. Well, so, so the study found that a lot of people are actually underestimating just how expensive the, the tickets are, the food will be. Uh, and those people are, are they just not properly preparing? Or is Disney maybe not doing enough to publicize how much a trip really ends up costing a family? Well, you know, I think it's it's potentially a little bit of both. I mean, if you look at the Disney World website, you're going to see that ticket prices start at $109 per person. Now, that's for ages 10 and up. A 10-year-old is an adult in the eyes of Disney. That $109 is for about 20 days out of the year, and it's for only one theme park, Animal Kingdom. If you want to go to Magic Kingdom, if you want to go during Christmas week, for instance, you're probably going to be finding higher prices. We've done some analysis on magicguides.com. We figured out that about 72 to 73% of the days during the year start at $144 and go up depending on which theme park you get. And the only way you really get any break on that is if you do a multi-day ticket. So your ticket prices are a little bit cheaper day by day. All right. So before we let you go, what is your advice for people to, to enjoy a trip to Disney, uh, take the family, have a good time, but not go into debt to do it? You know, it's all about planning ahead, doing some research. Uh, you know, we have crowd calendars on our website. We have cost calculators on our website where you can look and see if I were to stay in this type of hotel versus that type of hotel, you know, what would my price difference be this time of year versus that time of year? If you can hit those weekdays in September, that's usually a relatively cheap time to go. Theme park uh, ticket prices are on the lower end and also your hotel prices are on the lower end. It's really just research, 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 run the numbers and see what makes sense for your family. A good travel agent doesn't hurt either. All right. That all makes sense. Thank you so much for your time, Jackie. Thanks, Nicole. Well, up next, the death of a man. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.